Well, hello, hello, my dear viewers, my dear friends. Welcome back to the channel. And today, there is no One Piece today, sadly, or rather, there was no One Piece chapter this week. So, fear not, I am here with something else. And as you could have seen by the title, this video will be related to the Flying Six. More specifically, the fruits, I think that it would be cool for the members of the Flying Six to have. Not only the members of the Flying Six, but also a very specific character that was mentioned last chapter, that there's still some debate whether or not he's alive, whether or not he's real, but for the purposes of this video, and we'll see when we get there, I will consider that he's very much alive. I want to say that for this video, and as you can understand by the topic, I went and got some bibliography. Yeah. These are in Portuguese, obviously. These books are have like 19 years old each. And you can see that because one of them has like this... These pages our teachers used to, used to project on those big things with the light, the, those big projectors. So yeah, dinosaurs. This was my bibliography for today. Well, not, not really just this. I, I did went through a lot of good old Wikipedia and good old YouTube, but it all started here and I'm very proud of having these. I actually used them on a project for school like I mean, 13 to 14 years ago, maybe? It was probably like 5th or 6th grade, I want to say. It, it's very likely that it, it has been that long. But anyway, that is not the topic of this video. The topic of this video is the fruits for the Flying Six. Now, who are the Flying Six? We know who the Flying Six are. The Flying Six, or the Tobiropo, are the six strongest headliners of the Beast Pirates. So, so far, we only know two. We only know Diaz Drake and Page One. And, as we know that Diaz Drake is undercover, bleh, unless all the unless all the Flying Six are somehow working for X Drake, yeah, we only have six, five that are on Kaido's side. So, yeah. The fruits we know from the Flying Six are, of course, Diaz Drake and Page One's fruit. We have the Ryuru no Mi model Allosaurus and the model Spinosaurus. Spinosaurus we all know from Jurassic Park 3. I think it's Jurassic Park. It is Jurassic Park 3. And the Allosaurus, well, we all saw the, the full transform mode of the Allosaurus fruit. It's, it's actually very curious because the only two fruits we know from the Flying Six, we've already seen them both in hybrid mode and and full beast mode. The only thing we're missing out of page one is it's his normal appearance, which I hope we get to see, which I hope we get to see on, on 978. Um, a fun fact about the Allosaurus, and, and I found this yesterday while I was researching, is that there were found, they found remains of the Allosaurus in North America and Portugal. Like, give it to the Portuguese. Something happened. We were there. I mean, I know. I know it's. It, I mean, I know they didn't live in Portugal because back then there was no Portugal. There was no. There was no continental mass. There was no. There was not land mass that was Portugal. There would be one day with the separation of the continents and whatever. But it's just so fun. I, I rekindled. I rekindled the an interest on prehistoric creatures with this research. And you'll see with one of them maybe that I went I went there. I don't know how known this one is, but you'll see what I mean. So yeah, we have the Allosaurus and we have the Spinosaurus. Now, does this mean that all the Flying Six need to have a fruit? No. Perfectly fine if they don't. 
I just thought it would be a good idea for all of them to have and for it to be an ancient zone. Because that's it, that is the theme of the main guys of Kaido's crew. Like, you have Kaido who has a mythological fruit, whether that be the dragon or the Oni fruit, because there's still a debate on whether he's a dragon who ate the Oni fruit or an Oni who ate the, the, the dragon fruit. So, then we have the, the All-Stars, the Calamities, that all have Ancients. You have the Pteranodont, you have the, um, the Brontosaurus. I always mistake King's Fruit, Queen's Fruit, but I think it's the Brontosaurus. So you have the Brontosaurus and you have Jack, who's the Mammoth. So they all have, they all have Ancient, no, it's the Brachiosaurus. I always, I always mistake this. It's Brachiosaurus, not Brontosaurus. I don't know where I take the Brontosaurus from. Uh, but yeah, it's the Brachiosaurus. Uh, we have the Pteranodont, the the, the Brachiosaurus, and the and the Mammoth. So I think that it would be very very fun for all the other members of the the highest ranking ones at least. Uh, that means them the flying six, for them to have ancient devil fruits. Now. Not all of them will be will be dinosaurs. In my idea, three of them, no, two of them will be the other dinosaur is for is for another character. Uh, but yeah, two of them would be dinosaurs. One would be from another mammal, and another one from another. So let us start with the most obvious that everyone could think of. And it's not the Velociraptor. I did not. I did not include the Velociraptor. I'll tell you that much right now. And the reason why I didn't include the the Velociraptor was because, well, they are very well known. Yes, that there would be easy for a lot of people to, to recognize. But uh, there's the controversy with the with the depiction, and of course I. Assume that Oda will, would take the, the representation out of Jurassic Park and that is not exactly accurate. But I mean, at the time, I believe, when they made the movie, that was the most accurate representation they had. But then the whole feather thing, the whole feather cover thing came about and, well, I don't know. I would, I would find it funny for it to be dinosaurs that not everyone knows. So... The first one is not a dinosaur, and it's actually based on an old theory that that tried to predict the, the calamities. First, when we met Jack, we knew that there were other calamities, and we already figured that they would be king and queen. And this theory stated that queen would be a woman, and that she would have the Neko Neko no Mi model saber to tiger. So that's my first idea, and it's for, of course, the female member of the Flying Six, the one we see with the, the high heel shoes. Now, it would be very fun. It's not the most, the most outlandish animal out there. It's a very cool animal still, but it's not the most outlandish prehistoric creature, believe me. There were some, there were some fun ones there to see, but... I don't know, I always put a lot of stock in this theory way before we met Queen. And then when, when we met Queen, and I'm like, okay, so she's not a lady. And okay, that's okay, that's okay, I have no problem with that. But let's see the fruit. Maybe there's still hope that it's the saber tooth, that it's a saber tooth fruit. It was not the saber tooth fruit, it was the Brachiosaurus fruit. But still, very awesome, and I was like, okay. We have a chance, we have a chance. Maybe, 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 maybe. And then yes, there's a lady on the Flying Six. So maybe there's a possibility for the saber to tiger fruit to exist. These are just my ideas, just a discussion. Please leave your opinion in the comment section below. This is the only one that, I, that I'll attribute to one specific member of the Flying Six because the other three can just be random. I, I don't care. So but this one, I really, really hope that it gets to be to the lady if it if it happens i really do hope so so the next 
Then I thought of it's the Ryurionomi model Ankylosaurus. Now, the Ankylosaurus is this dinosaur looking thing. The reason why I'm pointing towards here is because I hope that I'll be able to, to edit this video to a point where I can have an image of the Ankylosaurus here. That's why there's all this void space here. So, you know, editing. I don't know why I did that face, but I did. So yeah, editing. And, and you'll probably be seeing an image of an Ankylosaurus here. I don't know, we'll see. So yeah, the Ankylosaurus is this thing looking dinosaur that was covered in, I don't know, like scales, probably scales, and has a mallet for a tail. So imagine one of the flying six transforms into the Ankylosaurus and just bam, bams everything with his tail, starts mowing through through the samurai and the lesser minks, like pa 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 with the mallet. And he could roll. I know Ankylosaurus probably couldn't roll like a ball, but this is one piece. Brachiosaurus couldn't climb mountains and drop on their heads on a giant woman who was running around the prison. So yeah, Ankylosaurus could roll for all we know. In one piece at least. The next one, it's a very interesting idea that I had. Uh, but I don't know if it can work for the Flying Six, but I'm gonna tell it anyway. It's the Ryurinomi model Compsognatus. So the Compsognatus are these little dinosaurs. I mean, they were really, really tiny. And the thing I imagined was... Think like this massive dude, like super burly, super like manly, full of himself, full of muscle. And then he goes to transform. And you, we see that the black transformation, we don't see the entire process. But then all of a sudden we start to see the shrinking, the shrinking effect and it keeps shrinking and shrinking and we see, we see people who were scared of this pearly big ass figure starting to change their expression and all of a sudden they start laughing because they see this tiny dinosaur in front of them. But then of course it doesn't mean that just because he's tiny, just because he's tiny that is not as little as the other ones and so as soon as he transforms and people start mocking him he just goes ham on them and starts holding on them so imagine that imagine like you have this burly guy that's why that's why i felt like don't think this can work for the flying six because for the only thing we saw from the flying six is that they they really seem to be all on the same height level Sure, the images can be a little deceiving. We don't, we don't actually know exactly their measures. We haven't seen them full body yet. But from what we saw and from what I think, let me just pull it up in a bit. They they seem to be all on the same on the same height level. I mean, there doesn't seem to be any long leg or any sort of giant. So they all seem to be normal humans. So that's the only thing that makes me kind of doubtful that it may not doubtful, but it makes it okay. It's not as impactful as I thought. Maybe one of the numbers could have this fruit, but I would really like to see like someone big, like really big. It doesn't need to be a giant, but imagine Katakuri big. Like, for the people of Wano, I imagine that Katakuri Big is already big enough. I mean, of course you have Kaido. But I would wager that Katakuri Big would be already enough to to warrant a laughter after seeing that gigantic son of a gun turn into a tiny, not tiny like this, but in comparison, to a tiny Compsognatus. Just totally, you know, totally unexpected, but hey. The fourth and last one for the Flying Six is... Uh, I don't know if I should call this the Zozo fruit from the elephant family fruit because you'll see. The, the, the idea is 
to call this through the zoonomy model arsenatarium. Now, this is the arsenatarium. It's a freaking dual horned rhino thing. This existed, you know, and apparently this thing was related to modern day elephants. Go figure. Go figure, yeah. Uh, so yeah, go figure. This thing was related, is related to modern day elephants. Apparently, I, I heard a lot of things and I couldn't ascertain a specific. There was another one, another rhino looking thing. I'll, I'll put the image if I find it. I forgot the name, so I'll have to go search it up. If I do, I'll, I'll put it up. But it was as a, a rhino close to the Arsino. Uh, to the Arsinotarium, but it apparently it had this gigantic horn, like it had a single horn, but it was gigantic. The thing is, from all the images I saw of him, the only the only ones who had the horn were the drawn representations. So there are there are no fossils with the big horn. The ones that have his skull have like a small bump on his head. Kind of like that head-butting dinosaur. I forgot his name as well, sorry. But apparently there was a horn there. And because I couldn't find any fossils that could accurately prove that the horn was there, I decided, you know what? When you can't have a gigantic horn rhino, you have a dual horn rhino. rhino. That's, that's as good as we can get. So yeah. These are the four fruits for the flying, for the remaining flying six that I would like to see. The saber-toothed tiger, the ankylosaurs, the compsognathus, and the arsinotarium. Now, the one that I really, really would like to see, and if it could be pulled off in the most hilarious situation, kind of like the compsognathus, um situation but reversed so this hypothesis of mine is for Kaido's son now we don't know if Kaido's son is real if he's alive or if he's dead we don't know Kaido drew the fact that he has a son like right out of the blue so we don't know he can have a son he cannot he might not have a son his son might be dead his son might be alive we don't know but, as I said on the beginning of the video, for the purposes of this video, I will consider Kaido's son to be alive. And I want him to be this, like, rickety guy, like, super shy, super feeble, like, not necessarily weak in terms of strength, pay attention, because he is, after all, Kaido's son. I just want that, I just want his appearance to be, like, very meek. Very feeble, very, very, you know, very shy of his own shadow, a scared of his own shadow. Like, you can't do anything around him that he goes, like, in a panic fit or something. But then he transforms into his devil fruit. And his devil fruit would be the Ryurunumi moral gigantosaurus. One of the biggest dinosaurs that ever existed, along with... Things like the Spinosaurus. Like, there are estimates of this guy measuring 12 meters in length. Length. 12 meters. That's, that may not sound like a lot, but if you imagine 12 meters in high, even in length, like even in length, it's, it's very big. So imagine this meek guy like so frail, apparently so frail and so so delicate and whatnot, not, suddenly turns into this massive beast that's like two times the size, maybe, of Drake's Allosaurus. Imagine that. But here's the thing, it doesn't stop there. What I think could be really interesting is because we know that carnivore, that the, the carnivore subtype for the zoo and devil fruits, apparently enhances the combat prowess and makes the user a little bit more bloodthirsty. The only real situation we saw with this 
We can say it was Rob Lucci. We can say it was Rob Lucci from GP9 slash zero uh, with his Neko Neko no Mi model Leopard. We could argue that Jabra also exhibit traits of a more fierce and carnivorous personality. But ever since then, like, we don't see Jazz Drake exhibiting a particular sort of behavior. Page one, we can argue it does. But then again, page one is page one's crazy. But and we haven't seen a lot of carnivorous fruits since since Daniel's lobby. I mean, after Lucy and Jabra, what other carnivore fruits, zone fruits we saw? Not really many. Like the ones we met in Impal Down, the awakened ones. I think they were they were all herbivores. There was the rhino. There's the koala, there's the cow, and there's the zebra. Oh, there's the chihuahua now. Sorry, there's the chihuahua. Ay, 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 chihuahua. Okay. But yeah, we haven't seen a lot of carnivorous subtype devil fruits, zoan devil fruits. So imagine, we know that the carnivore subtype usually does that. Imagine this guy being the chillest carnivore you've ever met. Like, the the guy's a vegetarian. Imagine that, this gigantic dinosaur. You end the chapter with the Gigantosaurus, Kaido's son, Ryu Ryu no Mi model Gigantosaurus. Like, with this double-page spread of him towering over the battlefield. The only thing bigger than him is his own father. Then you have him, and the ch and the next chapter begins, and he's like, "Father, I don't want to fight." Like with his little arms, because the dinosaurs has also little arms, I think. And he's like, "Father, I don't want to fight. I don't like fighting. I'm I'm not a carnivore. I'm not a good dinosaur." Like just imagine, like it would be really cool. It it wouldn't be new per se. I mean, it would be because we never saw uh, we never saw Devil Fruit user go against the nature of of his Devil Fruit animal. I mean, unless you count the the weapons that ate the fruit, but, I mean, they can't really go against because they are not sentient. They become sentient thanks to the fruit, but they are not sentient before. So, in that case, they go towards their attitude as a weapon, not necessarily as an animal. I mean, we haven't seen that that many examples. We have Frank, Frank, Frank Fried and um, Lasso. So, there might be more, but I don't remember. And so, yeah, just imagine Kaido's son, feeble, meek-looking guy, Gigantosaurus, completely goes against the carnivore, the carnivore route. I mean, you have a recipe for some good laughs here. So... This was it. This was a not that short of a video. I mean, we're only like seven minutes shorter. Well, considering the last few videos, I, I think we're really good. We have been going over the 40 minute mark almost, but this was just a smaller video because there's no one piece this week and I wanted to do something. Uh, just before we go, an announcement. Uh, Kingdom Come Deliverance will go on a hiatus until the second week of May. So we will come back to Kingdom Come Deliverance on the second week of May. So 11th May, May 11th, you can expect, if not specifically on that day, because it's Monday, it's One Piece Day, but possibly on the 13th of May, we will return to Kingdom Come Deliverance. The reason being, university is ending, my semester is ending, so I need to start focusing on the things, you know, tests and projects and eh, it's just a lot of... And with the the distancing, the, the online classes and whatnot, it just became a whole lot messier. So I only have videos for Kingdom Come Deliverance left for this week. So expect videos Wednesday and Friday. For Kingdom Come Deliverance. I hope you are enjoying the series. I'm having a lot of fun with it. And this session, this session that's ending this week, just 
it just the ending of it just blew my mind not that it was that unexpected but i was like you really did it like you're 10 episodes into this and you already done this okay so i hope you guys are enjoying this and please do let me know if you have any other fruits you'd like to see the members of the flying six have or if you if you would like them not to have any fruits I think that won't happen because it's the Beast Pirates and I believe that all of them have a fruit. That's that's his whole point. So I imagine that the Flying Six all have a fruit and a proper one, no smiles. But if you can come with another idea, please do let me know. I will want to hear about them or to read about them more specifically. So please do let me know in the comment section down below and I will see you guys next week for the One Piece chapter review. See you then. Bye-bye.